Tracking wind out there today, definitely a BHD bad hair day, especially if you're out in the desert. If you're traveling between, in between Arco and Idaho Falls, that area is still under a wind advisory for the next little bit. Gusts up to 50 miles per hour. For the rest of us, well, we still have those showers out there to our west, to our south. And of course, the snow. Yeah, snow in the mountains. Scout Mountain right now seeing some snow. And look at all that snow over in Caribou County around Soda Springs. And maybe if you're watching us from Soda Springs, you may be getting some snow right now. Least radar indicating that. We got snow over the Tetons. So snow levels will drop tonight. We have colder air to the north. That will drop snow levels down to Snake River Plain levels. So there is a possi possibility tonight for Pocatello and Blackfoot and Idle Falls of seeing some snow late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So don't be surprised. Be forewarned. We could do a little taste of winter by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Temperature tracker, yeah, definitely a little bit too warm for snow to really fall for the Pocatello, Idle Falls area. Temperatures in the upper 40s. Down south, they've had a rough day in Salt Lake City. Strong thunderstorms with a temperature there of 56. And here's something you don't see all that often. We are actually warmer than Boise. Of course, they've had a wet day, 43 currently in Boise. And it looks like uh, even Haley a tad bit warmer with a temperature of 45. So your forecast tonight, chance of rain showers with a chance of a wintry mix overnight. So there is that threat of some snow. Low temperatures, upper 20s to the mid 30s, just barely above freezing in Pocatello. And we'll definitely be freezing and then some for the central mountains with isolated snow showers overnight. And then snow likely for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. We've already seen that one to four inches possible overnight with lows mainly in the 20s and then hit and miss rain and snow for the southeast highlands. It's been a wet day over in uh, Bear Lake County and yeah, more wet there expected. Rain and snow possible for the southeast corner tomorrow. So have your umbrella handy. Highs will be in the 30s and 40s and more snow expected for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. We see could see an additional one to two on top of what we get tonight. And then for the central mountains, a wintry mix tomorrow. Highs lower 30s to barely 40 in Chalice, Salmon, and then a chance of rain and snow with a chance of snow mainly in the morning tomorrow. We could see some liquid precipitation throughout the day. High temperatures in the 40s. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast looking ahead. Well, it does look drier for a few days at least, but uh oh, Sunday, it looks like there's a chance of rain. And that'll take us into Monday, but I'm eyeballing next Tuesday. That'll be wonderful. 62. We just got a few days between now and then. And, and unfortunately, it's after the weekend. Idle Falls, dry for three days in a row. Maybe not so dry Sunday into Monday for the Teton area. Of course, we have snow tomorrow, a chance of more snow on Tuesday. Get a chance to catch your breath Friday and Saturday. Could see some snow on Sunday. A wintry mix for your Monday and for the Central Mountains. Wintry mix tomorrow. Dry, though, for three days. Maybe some rain on Sunday.